Hi, I'd like to talk about the timing for the uh, KDX. The analog CDI is, uh, there's two versions of it with basically the same timing curve, the, the rate of change from one RPM to another. If you look at the far left graph here, you'll see in purple the, the standard um, timing curve for the 89 to 94 models and the black is the 95 to 06 models at uh, 6k rpm the later version is at 19 and the old the older version is at 21 the uh, the difference being the the bike likes more timing advance throughout this part of the rpm range and it likes more timing retard during this part of the RPM range. 9,000 being a typical cutoff for most most uh, KDX's. So what I've attempted to do with my adjustable CDI is get the best of both worlds. This rate of change right here which is exactly what I have at this red graph here on the far right this is my performance CDI with switch A on and switch B uh, with the uh, second switch off it gives that that uh, more, more rapid uh, change as the RPMs advance, which is something normally you can only do with a digital CDI. And unfortunately, digital come, cannot be used on this KDX because there's no, um, there's no, um, how do you call those, uh, the trigger, there's no trigger coil on them, which is a, a, a separate coil for telling the, the digital CDI while well, giving it a, a reference mark as far as timing goes. <clears throat> um, let me explain something real quick. Switch A is basically setting the timing curve close to stock or more advanced. Switch B is to, to change to give you three different timing curves. Uh, more and more uh, retarded with the, um, the advancing RPM. But the red and the green here are my favorite two curves. And if you wanted something a little bit different, you could achieve that by changing the position of your stator plate. You have about 10 degrees variance available to you there at the stator plate, turning it um, counterclockwise gives you uh, ignition retard, which is basically lower on this graph. Turn it clockwise you get more ignition advance which is higher on the graph and uh, that is basically um, the whole of it the um, the timing curve uh, on my CDI is is a more idealistic timing curve and I've achieved that by use of the, uh, a special dive that probably wasn't even available when they first designed the KDX CDI. And that just about covers it. If you have any questions, shoot them my way.